Lisa from the Staten Island family. I'm here with Dr. Garcia. Hi guys, Dr. He, Garcia. He's one of the physicians at PM Pediatrics, which which has um you have offices all over the tri-state area, right? We do actually. Uh, we do have offices in New Jersey, in Long Island, Westchester, and Brooklyn and too. I saw Brooklyn, correct? Yeah. Yes, I saw in Brooklyn. One of my friends actually, I saw her taking her son. She put on Instagram. They were there at like I think 10 o'clock at night, and I was like. That is amazing that there's a place you can go with your child 10 o'clock at night instead of going to the traditional, you know, um, ER. And just if you can pan around for a second and look at what, at this um, space, when you walk in, you have like this cool night, sort of this, um, it's like a medieval kind of castle. Absolutely, it's a castle theme. It's right. a castle theme. And you've got these beautiful murals and um, TV with beautiful flat screen televisions. Is, is the, um, okay, you can come back to me now. Is, is the reason why you have it set up like this, is that sort of to make the kid feel more like relaxed and... Well, it's definitely designed to be a child-friendly environment. You know, right. that's really which it, which it is. Even, even the doors, like the attention to detail is amazing. Yes. It's like a castle yes. door. Yeah, and, I'm, and you're more welcome to kind of, you know, check out some of the rooms. But uh, it exactly is, you know, designed to, you know, attend to children's needs and to really make them feel much more at home, much more comfortable. So right. piece some of that anxiety and stress. Right, because because you know, I mean, like you, people would say, "Well, why won't I just go to a regular ER?" And I would think this is such a much more happy, more relaxed, comfortable place for kids to go. Right, but not only that, but also the staff here is completely like pediatric and child friendly. You know, you have everyone who's you know child trained. We are pediatric some specialists. You have pediatric nurse and pediatric X-ray tech, pediatric so ancillary staff. So everybody that's right. here is trained and really designed to work with children. That's great. So, um, now, how long have you been open? Oh, uh, we've been open actually for six weeks now. Yeah, oh, we wow, six May weeks. 23rd. Okay, and so your hours are, I saw you have extended hours on the we weekends. We do, yeah, we actually open Just... super early on Monday, on Sundays. Uh, we open every single day, noon to midnight, but oh, on wow, Sundays, we actually open at 10 a.m. until midnight, so that's 14 now, hours of coverage. Now, why, why on Sundays? Do you, did you well, there's a the combination hours? of, uh, actually, you know, the pediatricians typically don't work Sundays. Uh, and some pediatricians ah. also don't work Saturday, so, so a lot of parents by Sunday really they've had you know they've been sitting on a child who's had a fever for a couple of days and who's had ear pain or who was even instructed to you know wait for 48 hours. But by the time Sunday comes, a lot of times they need to have that additional. Right. Coverage. So it's like if you're one of those parents that on the weekend your child gets sick and, and your pediatrician's not on, and that is such a great, that's such a, that's so smart. Right. You know, it's like really a comfort to know that it's right here on Staten Island. This is actually. Um, right by the Staten Island Mall. Um, what's the exact street? It's Richmond Hill. It's Richmond, Richmond Hill Road and Richmond Avenue. Yeah. So I mean, it's just and there's plenty of parking and it's just so beautiful it's inside here. Avenue. I mean, it's it's such a perfect location. Um, so do you want to take us around? Absolutely. I'd love to give you guys a tour. Right, come on. So uh, please come in. Um, so we actually have a 14 uh, room office. It's actually uh, you know very massive. It's about almost seven thousand square feet. Oh, uh, what a nice scale, also. And there you go. So we, high tech. We have scales. And we have a you know baby scale. And I'll show you in a little bit. As you can see, every single one of our rooms is decorated. You know, individually, it's got like you know oh, very child friendly this. designs. Oh, it really it's does. It's definitely designed to be. You know, it's so like happy and cheerful and. Yeah, I like it's the clean, theme. It's well illuminated. Oh, wait, wait, I love this one. Look, if you want a stable relationship, get a horse. <laughs> See, and some funny, cute things for their parents, too. By the way, that's totally true. Right? Oh, so you have like, this is like the horse room. So there's a horse room, of course. Aww. So here's where kids can horse around. Oh, they can horse around. Um, this is the Shrek room. So this is. They have a Shrek. Oh my gosh, look. They have Shrek dolls. And every single one of our rooms has like a different theme, and they're all individually themed. They're all like completely just, you know, tailored to to be, you know, friendly for children and to really be accommodating. Look, they have even the gingerbread man up there. So everything that you can think of from the, uh... And they have T and you have TVs there. in all the rooms. Every single room has a TV. Every so room has a television. That is, um, that is so great. And, right. and, and meanwhile, it's all with the castle theme. All with the castle theme. It's all the castle right. theme. It's all really and look tight. at these murals. Get a, picture, get a video of these murals. These are they have some beautiful murals here. That one over <gasps> in the back with the unicorns. And and the topiaries, and it's just so... And then we have our own uh, in-house x-ray suite. So we do x-rays in-house. We have our own lab that's running up, you know, running some specimens. And uh, it's read by a radiologist. It is uh, reviewed by a radiologist, absolutely. We have uh, coverage by a pediatric radiologist, uh, and all of our studies are reviewed by a pediatric radiologist. All right. Um, so this is pretty much, you know, the office here. These are our two procedure rooms, which you'll be able to appreciate a little bit larger because it gives, you know, there's more room for the wow. here. 
rooms are working. And it's, you wow, know, these are the procedure rooms. Oh, they're larger and wider. Uh, yeah, it's a beautiful layout. TV yeah, beautiful and uh, in, in our storage, it's like really, really big. Wow. Oh my goodness. And all the storage, and all these are like, you know, pediatric and child friendly materials. So a lot of the things that, you know, you would find in other places, even things like, you know, pediatric boots and, you know, more than happy to show you, you know, the small boots. I mean, it's like super look, tiny. Yeah. But, and it's something that you won't find anywhere else. I mean, no one's going to have that attention to detail and really wow. provide the supplies that are... That's for an inside. injured foot? Correct. That, you know. Um, so, yeah, everything... So, you, so you really... Cut, I mean, this is really like, you know, if, if urgent care. It's like you break your foot, you... Everything. Because it's yes. so... Because I just... One of my friends just said that her daughter was in camp the third day already broke her arm. There you go. So there you go. It's yeah, like, so, so we're able to attend to 90% of the uh, traditional uh, emergency room visits. So that's pretty much everything except for like the acute severe trauma and the really, you know, um, sick and ill patients. So like broken, I mean, what have you seen broken so far? Bones, broken bones, uh, dislocated uh, elbows, uh, dislocated Concussions? Digits. We see head injuries. Head injuries. We see lacerations. Lacerations, yeah, a lot of... Chin lacerations, okay. superficial abrasions, contusions. And that's usually within the spectrum of injuries itself. And then with illnesses, we see, you know, sore throats, strep right. throat, ear infections, now it's a season for Coxsackie virus, a lot of that. Right. Um, and know. it's so nice to know that you're here on the weekends so that, because it's like the weekends is such a time where it seems like everything always goes wrong yeah. on the weekend when you're over here. Yeah. Absolutely. And the kids always get sick. Yeah, so it's nice to know that you're here. Well, that's exactly the purpose, you know, is to really be able to provide that additional level of service. And at night too. Just yeah. And you open until what time? Until midnight. midnight. So you can set a bone. We can, uh, depending on which type of fracture, you know, easy fractures sometimes can just be set with a little bit of you know pressure. Absolutely, the more severe ones, the ones that either need to be reduced under sedation. It's more because we don't do sedation here that we don't really you know set those type of fractures. But the very simple you know fractures, the ones that really require minimal you know reduction, those can absolutely be done you okay. know, with a little you know anesthesia here or a little digital block. And I know you guys are specialized in like painless uh, absolutely. care. Absolutely, we have everything a, that's designed. You know, that's your credo. That's uh, one of the big creeds, absolutely. And, Ooh, and tell we, us and about we've even that. found, you know, like um, you know, different ways to just take care of pain. So we have, you know, we're able to deliver now pain medications through the nose. It's a little spray in the nose. It doesn't involve needles. It doesn't involve injections. And then patients can receive the immediate effect of, of the wow. medication itself. Wow, oh, is that something that just like you do throughout your? Throughout every single one of our offices. Every single one of our office has the ability to do the same pain medication That's delivery great. in the same. What is, that, what is that pain medication? Uh, it's fentanyl, actually. Fentanyl, and then we do some Versed also just for. Intranasal. Uh, correct, intranasal just for some mild sedation. And why do you, why, why did that come about? Well, it's very important, you know, to also, you know, improve the, the child experience and the patient experience. Right. And, and, you know, pain is something that um, also starts from the early years. And so, you know, the more the perception of pain, the more it's also going to, you know, translate later in life. So to be able to provide that painless experience and to really make that child be able to not only not suffer so much, but also be able to come back and not have such a miserable experience the following time they come to a doctor, whether right. it's right. our office or their primary care office, right. you know, means the world to us. Oh, I love that. Okay, anything else? So this is one of your procedure yeah, rooms? Yeah, this is one of our procedure rooms. The other procedure room is right next door, but it's about the same size. Okay. Um, we'll have you show you our extra suite over here. Um, and oh, they have an extra suite. That's yeah, great. So really lab. full on an in-house layout, too. Yep, this is our really extra suite service. here. So everything that you can think of in the realm of wow. the x-rays itself, you know, we can do and we will do over here. Um, and like I mentioned, you know, it is reviewed and is interpreted by a pediatric. So reviews. you have in-house lab. We have in-house lab. How, I'll show you. How fast is the turnaround? The turnaround time is about 15, 20 minutes. For a routine for the majority. Here, of I'll labs, take it. Yeah. You can go on. The majority of our labs, yeah, take about 15, 20 minutes to um, to come back. All wow. the in-house labs. We do work closely with a send out um, labs. So any lab that's a send out, you know, in cultures and some of the more specific labs, we'll send them out. And we get the results usually within 24 to 48 hours. And this is Tara, who's uh, running our controls right Hi. now. Uh, <laughs> and so you, you can see it's very, you know, very clean, very well organized. Yeah, it's great. Um, and, and it gives us results pretty much on the spot. Excellent. And then, and this is just, you know, where everyone sits, I Correct. guess. Correct, yes. All of our. Uh, Look, everything's so open. You can see yeah. everything. The all our electronic medical records are completely, you know, digital computerized, uh, and they're actually updated, um, you know, live. And, and it's pretty much just like live updating. So. So all the information is synced wirelessly. Uh, if one of our, um, you know, staff members is triaging a patient, we get live updates of vital signs. We get live updates of, you know, chief complaint, any other type of, you know, just manifestation, and then we have the ability to act accordingly. Great. Very nice. Thank, Thank you. Really, uh, yeah, and we, you know, this is our medication and our.
you know, just um, the stocking area. So a lot of the medications that we typically need are all here, antibiotics, pain medications, you know, um, breathing treatments, uh, IV, uh, you know, medications for uh, steroids, anti-inflammatories, vomiting medication, IV fluids. We do have the ability to do IV hydration here in IV fluids. We have the ability to give respiratory nebulization treatments. Um, and we have the ability to even, you know, have some of the more, more advanced and more um, just uh, aggressive, uh, you know, uh, intervention techniques and, and life, life um, rescuing um, supplies.